Evening Freaks, I'm here to give you a read straight from the hip with lots of lift and to dive into this strange void energy we're moving through of this sandwich of great black conjunctions. We had the first in this uh, two week period uh, back on the 16th, just a couple days ago, just the other day. Um, and we got another one coming up on November 30th. And right in between that, we got that meaty new moon uh, coming in with a Sagittarius stellium that's kicking off Sag season. And it's really going to be moving into action time here very shortly, okay? So we got a lot going on. Um, Sagittarius is all about expansion. And with a stellium coming in with that new moon, uh, we're really looking at um, even more expansion on offer than usual, but we also got uh, everything being inflated, everything looking a lot bigger than it is too. So there can be the tendency to not see things clearly. There can be the tendency for people's egos to be out of control. There can be the tendency for a big mess to get even messier, you know, so certain things can be cleared up. You may be dealing with certain elements like this Aquarius. We're going to be tapping into the energies for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, Mars, or a packed 11th house, okay? Three or more planets, a stellium in the 11th house. You could definitely feel the effects of this read and find resonance here. Um, we'll look at all signs that want to come up and introduce themselves in this read in association to your situation, but do remember that we're looking at any significant placement. So um, that really opens up the playing field here, and I don't get too convoluted with the signs, all right? I only call them out if I see a court card come up on the board because those are the actual significators. I do feel like you're dealing with something um, where you're trying to make up your mind, Aquarius, about should you stay or should you go, you know? Um, I think this is trying to make a choice between two different options and you feel kind of stuck in the middle and I just heard that old 70s songs, clowns on the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you, you know? Um, I think you're trying to sort through a bit of a mess. I think you've kind of pulled your energy back. You're taking a little time to yourself. Um, maybe you were trying to be more hands-on in resolving this situation up till now, but you're starting to see that there's things in play that um, make matters a little unclear. You're not quite certain what's really going on, and you feel like the more that you're involving yourself um, in this dynamic, I feel like it's a social circle dynamic, the more confusing it's making things for you. So you've kind of decided to pull your energy out of the mix, all right? We've got this card turning up uh, in middle of the deck. This is about some offer, too. I think you're you're trying to decide if you want to take one of these offers that's been presented to you. I feel like you got more than one offer, okay? This would be somebody that's kind of making um, it appear that they're offering something really solid, something you can count on. This would be a jack of diamonds energy. It is coming in in the shadow, okay? So... This is somebody who, they talk a good talk, but can they put their money where their mouth is? It's like, uh, you know, there's something that feels like an empty promise in this offer that's being made. It might be from an earth sign energy, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there's some kind of promise here that, yeah, I'm, I'm in this with you, you know, I'm committed to this, I'm going to grow this with you, I'm going to build this with you. And this could be, uh, you know, in matters of the heart, this could be somebody saying that, you know, they want a commitment, that they want to take things to the next level, but there's something here that you don't trust. Uh, we see on the other side, the other shadow aspect involved in this is this six of clubs it's also coming up in the shadow it's like it's almost saying that you may have this sold to you like this is the end all be all like if you if you take my offer 
like we're gonna have such a such a beautiful future baby you know I got a little bit of this hard sell energy here you know like they're talking about um, just the kind of lifestyle that it's gonna afford you um, I do feel like this is coming in in a romantic sense like this is somebody that is really promising that things are going to be different you know I know we've been through hard times together but I really see us, you know, overcoming this together and getting to the other side. Things are going to be so different than they used to be. And, um, you know, telling you everything you want to hear about the things that you want to see change in, you know. Um, but there's something here that you're, you're really not trusting because we got discover, learn, and play in the reverse. This is sort of like... Gives me the vibes of like when love's no longer being served, you get up from the table because you're sort of like, I feel like I've been down this road with you more times than I can count. I've heard this all before. It always turns out the same. There ain't nothing new to learn here. I'm interested in growth. Like I'm ready to like go up to the next level in my life. I'm ready to be with somebody who actually wants to grow with me, who actually wants to explore relationship on a deeper level. And instead of just first time they get the least bit comfortable in their situation with me, they start getting distracted by other glimmery things and their attention starts to go elsewhere. They get a roving eye, you know, they, they start uh, chatting up other people. You know, I think that You've had this experience before with this person kind of made you feel like an outsider in your relationship. And this is back on deck. You know, here's this person coming around again saying things are different. I'm invested this time. We're going to overcome these challenges. And there's something you're not trusting about it. I feel like you've taken a little space from this. I do think this is because you got more than one option now. And so that changes everything for you. It makes you feel like you got a little bit of leverage in the situation. Maybe that wasn't always the case in the past. Maybe in the past, you know, this person was like your end all be all. They were your one shot, man. But I think after being through this experience so many times with this person where you've been let down, at first, it had an effect on you where it really eroded your self-esteem. So it was easy for them to kind of worm their way back into your story because you didn't feel confident. You know, it really was a blow to your ego in some respects, you know, in some respects. Um, but at the same time, um, there was just like this putting this person up on a pedestal, I feel like you so much wanted to believe in the image this person projected. And maybe in a certain way, you were being more superficially attracted as well. Maybe you were looking at things from a different vantage point when you first connected with this person. But as time went on, and as you had these really kind of demoralizing experiences with this person, their promises always falling flat and, and things falling out in such a way where it really kind of rocked your sense of self. I think you got to the point where you got sick of it. You know, you got tired of being played with. Um, and you began to wonder like, what is this really about? You know, is this really about you wanting to, you know, go to a deeper level with me or is you, are you trying to prove something there's almost like this energy of this person had a bit of a chip on their shoulder you know I think you got tired of playing with this person I think it got really old for you I think you actually started getting really bored with this connection because there wasn't anything really rewarding about it and you started realizing that if you kept giving energy to this person that it was actually just putting you in this position where you were really like playing yourself you know, I think that you've been kind of taking a time out from this person. This person might be coming back around. You might be hearing from this person soon. They might be reaching out to you uh, saying, you know, they, they've, they've thought about things during your time apart. And, you know, they, they now realize how important you are to them. And, and they want to, they want to grow with you. They want to do things differently. We do have this energy uh, that's counterbalancing this, okay? 
and this is coming up in the light and this is a jack of clubs okay uh, so it looks like you also have a fire sign energy that is also approaching you and I think that's why you're kind of like putting this person on ice right now I feel like this is one of those cases where the tables have turned you know where you maybe didn't feel like you were in a powerful position before it's now like things are different now this person who used to you know act like uh, they could take you or leave you you know and left you hanging in a lurch now all of a sudden they're coming around and they realize they need you on their side maybe um, they're dealing with some hassles maybe they're having some challenges you know um, in their social circle I don't know why I got that maybe there was some kind of fallout maybe there was some kind of fallout that occurred uh, between you and this person that uh, maybe you had a lot of mutual friends in common maybe you hung out in a similar community or maybe you worked at the same place there's like some some piece here of like shared social circle maybe there's been some kind of fallout it's caused some problems maybe there's other people that are starting to see the way this person kind of uses other people takes advantage of other people um, and now they're they're kind of needing to get you back on their side so they can like save their own ass basically sort of sway public opinion there's some peace in this situation about this person cares a lot about appearances it's all it's all about the uh, kind of like the presentation you know yeah this could be in relation to some kind of work project this could be in relation to some kind of collaboration a creative collaboration i could see that i could see that in the case of you know especially like for example like you're in a band you're you know working on an album together and there's you know there's your vision which is really about staying true to like the heart of your message and how you want to put your voice out there in the world and then here's this other person where they're like they're more like focused on the money uh the image the success and there's like this this incongruency there that's sort of causing this division in the way you're able to create with each other it's kind of making you feel like i just want to scrap the whole thing um, and there's this new person that's come in the mix, you know, fire sign energy. They got a lot of fresh ideas. They're very innovative. Uh, they got the passion, you know, to back up what they're interested in. And you're finding that this person's also lighting a spark in you. And in terms of that passion, like I said, you know, this could be in relation to some kind of like creative collaboration, some kind of creative project or um, any kind of uh, business pursuit where there's something innovative, you know, in the mix. It's like doing something a new way, something that hasn't been done before. And there's like one person in the mix who's kind of holding everything up. So they're like so locked and rigid and formulaic and stuck in sort of their the old mindset about the way you do things, you know, to be successful. And they're more focused on like the money piece. And it's sort of a real downer. It's it's making it difficult to really um, bring this thing in because you're you're not in the creative flow with this person anymore. It's like trying to decide if you should continue to create this with this person or if you should you know sort of break from the pack and maybe start working with somebody else. This fire sign who's more in alignment with you, you know, who's centered in the same way. It could also be certainly within relationship too, though. And I do feel there's this like romantic piece involved for a lot of you Aquariuses that have somebody from your past is coming back around trying to get things stirred up and it's happening right as you're connecting with somebody who is kind of lighting your fire, you know? You're getting a little thawed out. You kind of went cold for a while, you know? You went cold for a while. You felt a little, um, you know, detached detached from the whole romance thing but I feel like you're starting to thaw out this person's fire is starting to light a spark in you reminding you what it feels like to be you know lit up reminding you what it feels like to be turned on to feel enthusiastic about hanging out with somebody exploring with somebody hooking up with somebody 
you know, and isn't that interesting? It's like, right, as you're in this place where you are starting to open up to new possibilities, here's this person who tossed you aside like yesterday's news and all of a sudden they're coming back around. Maybe this person that's kind of lit your fire has, you know, uh, their own kind of clout. There's a lot of stuff about clout that's been coming forward in the collective, like people using other people as a leg up or, um, you know, attaching themselves to certain people just because of how it can advance them. And I feel like that element is sort of in this situation too, you know, I think this person that's coming coming around, uh, you know, making this offer. They see that you're kind of connecting with somebody who already has some attention on them, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's sort of weird. I heard they're the fan favorite. I don't know. That's kind of funny. But maybe this is somebody who's kind of popular, you know? Maybe you've kind of, like, talked to your friends and they're like, oh, you should totally go for the fire sign, man. Like, why would you not? Maybe they're the fan favorite. Like, maybe your friends are already fans of this person. Like, they think that you two would make a good match, that you could create some really good shit together, you know? Um, it's interesting because just as I said that make a good match, what came out was the Ace of Clubs, and it is coming up in the shadow, okay? So... I feel like there is like a huge sexual attraction with this person, with this fire sign energy. I think you want to give this person the wand, you know. Um, you're wanting to go there. There's definitely like this fire, this connect connection where, you know, in this, this other dynamic, it feels like things have gone cold, you know. Things have gone cold. This is like one of these cases where, uh, you know, somebody tried to like take you down a peg. Like they tried to um, make you feel like you were less than or you weren't desirable. I don't know. There's this peace coming forward. I feel like this earth sign energy that you were dealing with, who's going to come back around and make an offer to like turn everything around. You know, I think that you know, things had really gone cold in this connection to the point where uh, you didn't even feel desired by this person, you know. They, they never wanted to connect with you on, you know, a sexual level. They never wanted to uh, be affectionate. Uh, and it really just felt like there, everything was kind of stale in this connection, you know. And here's this person, you know, they, they get you, they get you riled up. I feel like you got some kind of sexual connection here with this other person. It doesn't make it very difficult to decide which way to go. We do see you got something working for you in the light. What's that? Woo, we got nine of hearts. Okay, we got wish fulfillment here. Uh, I think you're going to move away from this uh, other person that's coming your way. I do feel like this is an ex, you know. I think you got somebody new on the scene, uh, somebody who's lit a spark in you, and you, you're you choosing to pull your energy out of this other situation uh, with this X, you know, earth sign energy strongly aspected in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think you just don't want to play games anymore. And if you want to play, you're going to play. You're going to have fun. You're going to go have a little, you know, you're going to have some saucy play. You know, you're going to get your, you're going to get your yaw-yaws out. You're not going to fuck around with anything that's just going to, you know, be the same old, same old. Like, I almost got this, like, hit, like, you want some strange. Like, you're ready to uh, feel passionate again, you know? It's, it's an interesting dichotomy for you, though, I feel like, because at one point you really thought that this person, this earth sign, like that was it. Like they were their, your end all be all. You thought that this was the person that you're going to find happiness with, you know, you felt a real affinity with this person. And then you saw this whole side of them that really kind of shattered your image of this person. But I feel there's almost these competing energies here. It feels like the old is competing with the new. Maybe even trying to block this energy from coming in for you. You know, trying to sort of drive a wedge between this connection. I think that this ex knows 
you got somebody uh, new in the mix that you got your eye on. And I think that's precisely why they're coming forward and making this offer to you to work things out because they don't, they don't want this person taking their place. You know, it's almost like it, uh, it's an insult to their image if this person takes their place. I don't know where this is coming from. It's kind of a strange message, but I'm rolling with it because I just have to roll with what comes out. And we definitely got these kind of energies in the mix. Today we had um, Black Moon Lilith was Square Eris, okay? So that's some really out-of-pocket energy, and it's definitely energy that can lead to conflicts and people's um, desires being at odds and arguments, you know, all kinds of shit, okay? But there's this weird piece in your situation that has to do with some kind of disruption in your social circle, and there's like competitive vibes here. Uh, and you've really pulled yourself out of this connection with this uh, ex, this person you were involved with before. You, you know, it wasn't your first rodeo with this person. Every time you got fucking bucked off, man. And, you know, I think you just got a little sore after a while. You know, like you just, you didn't want to deal with it anymore. I feel like it became more of a burden to you than anything else. Just a headache. Uh, and the last time was sort of like the time that you said, that's it. Like, I'm not going to do this ever again. I feel like you really put your foot down with this person and you've sort of been just taking sp space to recover and heal from this. You know, we got here, Jack of spades. Okay. Coming up in the shadow. I mean, that's your energy. And I think this is exactly how you're going to deal with this energy when it comes forward. Jack of spades, uh, coming up in the shadow like that. That's, you know, your tongue fucking cuts like a knife, man. I think you're going to chew this person out. I think you're going to tell this person exactly where, you know, where they can put their offer, man. <laughs> That's what I get. You're going to tell this person who they fucking are. You're going to tell them who they are. I see combativeness here. I think the, the potential for there to be arguments in this situation is really high. And I'll tell you why. I feel like you got a competitiveness with this ex too. That's a little bit of your shadow energy running. It's 22:33 on the clock when I said that. You know, I think you also kind of want to stick it to them the way they stuck it to you. There's a little bit of this like tit for tat kind of energy here. And you're you're competing for like who can who can stick it to who the most. And it's like such a waste, man, because look. You could have a new beginning here. This is what I'm getting with this ace of clubs coming up in the shadow in association with this jack of clubs energy, you know, this fire sign energy, you know, where there's some passion here, you know, there's some potential wish fulfillment here with it coming up in the light and also a really gratifying sex life I'm getting. I feel like the sex would be on and popping with this person. But what I see is if you get caught up in this tit for tat with this ex who's coming around to try to stir shit up by putting an offer on the table, you get all embroiled in the drama of this and trying to get back at this person or worse yet, sleeping with this person, you know, this fire sign, bringing them into the mix for the sake of making this person jealous because you know that they have an issue with this person. like. You're going to fuck this thing up. You're going to take something that could be a really like awesome new beginning for you where you could have a real passionate, you know, connection with this person, somebody that can really light you up, inspire you, be on the same page with you. You know, you could have some fun with this person, but you could fuck that all up if you're getting into this like, well, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them, wait until they see me with this old jack of wands here. They're going to have a problem with that. You know, don't get into that shit. Don't get into that shit because that'll be a backfire kind of situation, you know. Um, be smart. Be smart. You know, I think 
it's good to speak your truth, but maybe try to temper that a little bit. It's not the time to be really aggressive with the current astrology, especially with Mars in retrograde. And Mars is going to be retrograde clear through, you know, most of January 2023. So the more that you can work through situations amicably, the better off things are going to be. All right, let's get any further clarification on this situation. Just know you got an offer coming forward, an offer for reconciliation. They're going to make it sound really good. I don't see you taking it. <laughs> yeah, and this light card just flew up right on top of that fire sign energy. So let's see what that says. And we got a shadow card came up next to this old earth sign energy. Well, what do I want to look at first? I'm going to look at the shadow first. Yeah, look at this. Six of hearts coming up in the shadow in association with this person from your past coming around making you an offer. I think at one point this person felt like a soulmate to you. I do feel like you have a deep connection there. I also think that you've been nursing a lot of hurt about what happened. I feel like your pride was really wounded. And it's your pride that's the part of you that wants to get even and engage in this kind of tit for tat. Tell this person who they are, you know, cut them off cold. Let them feel a bit of like what you went through. I mean... Aquarius can cut you off cold like no other. Aquarius knows how to go cold. But what this will actually do is kind of keep you trapped in a karmic cycle that you're meant to close with this six of hearts energy in the shadow, okay? Let the past be the past. Like, just dead that shit. And, you know, there's a way that you can respectfully decline somebody's offer and say, you know, I appreciate that. And, you know, I do appreciate the times that we had when things were good but I also know that we're just you know not in the same place we don't want the same things I'm looking for something different and I've you know I've healed from this I'm, I'm ready to move on from this I don't want to revisit this you know there's a way to bow out without it being about let me uh let me be the one who wins here it's like wanting to win the argument and at the cost of what if you start like using other people, though you might share, you know, an attraction with this person, you might be very sexually attracted to them. But if you're using this new person, this new option that's come around, you know, uh, as a way to make this old person jealous, like you're going to really be shooting yourself in the foot and you're not going to learn this lesson. You're going to find yourself blocked. And you're going to repeat these past cycles over and over again. It like has you on the karmic spin cycle. If you don't do that though, and if you just say, you know, I'm done with this. I'm letting this go. Thanks, but no thanks. And you make the choice to kind of be the bigger person, not go to that place where you have to teach them a lesson. You just let them learn their lesson on their own. Let them learn their own lesson as they watch you walk away. Then, you know... By deading this energy with the Ten of Spades, we see this is what ends the old cycle and it lets this new opportunity come in with this Jack of Clubs. And you'll move forward with passion and purpose with this person. You'll have a lot of fun exploring this connection. I feel like this connection lights you up. It brings something new and exciting into your life that you'll be so grateful for. Uh, but you could really fuck it up and actually, you know, end up losing all your options, man. You can watch all your marbles roll down the fucking hill. If you start getting cocky and it's about teaching your ex a lesson and getting into these kinds of games, you know, it's also going to cause further problems in your social circle. You know, it's going to be a lot of fallout. I don't think you're the only person who's sick of this shit. I feel like this has affected a lot of people, this drama between you and this ex. Cut of the deck energy, we got the seven of clubs, and it's coming up in the light, okay? So this is about stand your ground, you know, and stand on what you learned from your relationship with this person, and stay true to your convictions, and what you're wanting to create for yourself. I think the guidance is really that you should have some good boundaries with this person, um, and you should make choices that feel right for you. Don't succumb to pressure or what other people tell you to do. I don't know. You might have some people egging you on, you know, like you can't let her get away with that. You got to show her, you got to show her what's up, man. You know, 
don't don't get suckered into stuff that's actually just more uh, people kind of chiding you on because they want some fucking entertainment. You know, people get really invested in drama. You know, with the nine of diamonds here coming up in the shadow. If you go that route, you're going to sacrifice a lot of your hard work, you know, a lot of your hard work in the ways that you've grown. So think twice about this, okay? And this toxic love cycle with the king of hearts in the shadow, right? Or else you're going to continue to find, you know, your way is going to be blocked with that eight of clubs coming up in the shadow. Things can move forward, but it's about bringing an end, you know, to what's brought nothing but disappointment. Only then are you going to find the way it opens for you. And your heart's going to open up too after being shut down for a long time. It's your choice though. Be live to the way you sabotage a good thing. <laughs>